Everybody must know about the stereotypes of Asian parents and what expectations they have for their children, right? Now, these stereotypes never apply to me because I'm awesome, or at least I thought I was until I learned about this guy. Meet Jonathan Young Kim, better known as Johnny Kim. He was born on February 5th, 1984 in Los Angeles, California, to South Korean immigrant parents, of course. Where his family operated a liquor store. <laughs> The stereotypes keep adding up, man. And like many other second-generation immigrants, he grew up facing many challenges. And among these challenges was a difficult relationship with his father, which culminated in his father's tragic death when Kim was just 16 years old. Now, you may be asking, how did him having a bad relationship with his father end up with his dad dying? Well, that's because while Johnny was still a teenager, his father pulled a gun out on him and his family. And he was shot by police while hiding in their attic. Man, talk about a tragic hero origin story. But like many hero origin stories, this event was able to shape his resilience, determination, and desire to serve and help others. Whereas without his very tragic backstory, I don't think we would have the same Johnny Kim that we have today. Shortly after high school, Kim enlisted in the United States Navy, where he undertook the grueling training required to become a Navy SEAL, which as we all know is one of the most elite units in the US military. After he completed his training, Johnny Kim served as a combat medic, sniper, navigator, and point man. This guy literally had multiple jobs inside of a job. Being deployed in the Middle East including Iraq only two times, where he completed over 100 combat missions, that is 50 times he was expected to fight, kill, and possibly die per deployment. I bet you he was like, I saw my terrible father die to the hands of police at the age of 16. This is nothing to me. His bravery and dedication earned him several honors, including the Silver Star and the Bronze Star with Combat Valor. And because he was mostly a combat medic in his time with the SEALs, he was like, Welp, might as well become a doctor when I get back. And so he did. He first attended the University of San Diego, where he earned a degree in mathematics in 2012 because of course he did, and proceeded to continue his education at Harvard Medical School, graduating with a Doctor of Medicine in 2016. Following medical school, Kim completed his internship at Massachusetts General Hospital, and then he got selected to become an astronaut. That's right, he was only a doctor for one year because he became an astronaut right in the middle of becoming a full-fledged doctor, putting all of us Asians to shame. Where in 2017, Johnny Kim was selected to join NASA's Astronaut Group 22, and out of over 18,000 applicants, he was one of only 12 chosen for this prestigious program. After two years of even more intensive training, he graduated in 2020, officially becoming a NASA astronaut, where Kim is now part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually send them to Mars. Like, what the hell bro, his resume is just as stacked as in Jello White's rag. All employers have to do is see the name at the top and say you're hired. Like, imagine being this guy's cousin or sibling. Thanksgiving would literally be hell on earth. Your parents would always be asking, why can't you be more like Johnny, huh? And the only response I could possibly think of is that I'm clearly not the chosen one or an anime protagonist. Anyway, Johnny is still pursuing his life as an astronaut for NASA while having a beautiful family with his wife and three children where he serves as an inspiration to all the little Asian boys and girls in the world that can only hope to become one-third as good at the game of life as he is. I think that I truly learned what the feeling of jealousy is supposed to be like, where the worst thing about me doing this video is that my grandpa is the one that told me about this guy, and he proceeded to talk about him and how he was his hero for the rest of the day. Anyway, thank you all for watching, please like and subscribe Poppy, and I'll see you in another video.